Hey, honey, feed those cats. They're hungry. They're getting all stirred up in the yard. Well, if you guys have figured out, I like crazy sound effects. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to stop it for you, but it's a moon? No. It's a sun? No. What's that? Okay, watch it again. I'm going to filter it for you. Check it out. This is wild. Good morning, America. Good morning, Canada, Australia, Germany. Everybody, check this out. God bless you people from uh, all over the world. This is Seafernal Channel, and it's just getting weirder. There you go. That's Big Blue coming over. It's one of the planets coming over. The big question is, how could it be so big and not destroy us? Because it's actually far away, but it's so big that it's affecting our... You know, hurricanes and whatnot. Check that out. So what are you getting there? That's a UFO chasing that other thing down. Now, on the left lower, there is, you know, the satellite dish. There's a couple lights on there. See? There are two lights right there. The moon-looking thing, which is a giant fireball, and that UFO chasing it down. But there's also something in the left-hand corner peeking out. I couldn't get a better shot of it, but check it out. I blew this thing up from a little 3x3 picture or a little 3x3 video that Ken sent me. Ken, thank you for this footage. This is incredible. It's a giant fireball looking thing. You see the smoke behind it. Anyways, this is I picked up this morning real quick as a little shadow in Walnut Creek, California. I grew up a couple of my years there. Shout out to Paul. Hey, Paul, thank you for the, the sun with the two objects and a flare in it. So I think the bottom one is the sun flare from the sun simulator. The two on the right, I've done everything, x-rayed them, everything, and check them out, and I think they are just planets or something. This is interesting. This is from Michael B. Thank you, Michael. Uh, shout out to Michael. I filtered this thing, and I've looked at it, and as I, as I really looked at it, I want you guys to see what's happening here. Watch this ring around the sun that we've seen many times, but this one, I'm going to call it the Ring of Fire. Check it out. There's a normal picture of it. The skies are really dark, like normal, right? So there's an eclipse going on. Some kind of eclipsing going on. I did a little x-ray. You can see the ring. Okay. So we've all been calling it a planet. Some of us say it's just a light reflection. But watch this, guys. Okay, here it is. thought it was very unique how it has clouds around it. Um, they're kind of like, the clouds are like blowing off of it. So check it out. I put a little filter on it. Put a little filter on it. You know me? I throw a little filter. Uh, I believe the green blue thing right there is just a reflection off the camera. Might not be. I'm not sure. But watch as I show you this. I'm gonna blow it up for you. Okay, there's the ring right there. Normal, no filter. I'm gonna put a filter on it here in a second. Boom! I put a filter on there. And as I blow this thing up, you guys are gonna see something's in, right there in front of the sun on the bottom. It kind of looks like, but the ring is what I'm really looking at. The top of that ring. And when you really blow it up, it's an amazing shot. There is no filter. No, so I'll put it back into the filter. That ring is like literally looks like it's on fire, guys. When you put the, I changed the temperature a little bit. And I'm going to show you a little clip at the end of this, um, how I filtered it. So there's no question. There's, there's a little temperature right there I put on it. And I'm going to zoom in on it because it's amazing ring i think the ring itself is solid i don't even know if it's a planet no more i don't know what it is guys you tell me comment share this video today like this video um if you like it like it with the thumbs up and the more you like it the more it goes viral too and uh here we go this is how i filtered it there's the ring i filtered i put the temperature on this this view of it now here we go i come in i put auto right and then i'm gonna clear the board make it normal color back to the original footage right there all I do when I filter, right? Okay, watch guys. All I do when I filter, okay, watch this, is I do auto level. I don't touch nothing, okay? It just brings out the normal colors. It strengthens the normal colors, okay? And then I usually go to saturation, okay? I don't know, my arrow's out of place there if you see that arrow. Saturation. And then I turn the saturation up to about 38, 48. Watch, watch. It's just going to bring, it's going to, every color is going to saturate now with that color. 
It's going to bring that color out. Now, I've learned this little trick, and this is what I call my blue light filtering. I do a saturation twice, and I do this one up about 68, 78. <clears throat> and take a look at it. Watch this. Boom. It brings out the true color that it is on that ring, because he has such a good picture. Michael, you had such a good picture of this. I had to spend about a half hour just tripping this out, showing you guys what I'm doing. And I think this is pretty awesome, this ring. It's kind of scary. Here's an x-ray on it. You see it, right? Now, by doing this filtering thing live for you guys, you could actually see it in multiple filters that I don't usually show you because it takes so much time. So I'm going to start doing this more often, you know? And so there you go. You got that. That's what I ended up with. That's what I'm going to use in the video. So anyways, all right. I got more to come. And I'm going to show you another little UFO I caught going up the side of a mountain with a full moon when there was no full moon. And uh, that's real footage, guys, at the end of this video. It's not just a um, CGI. The end of the video is a real footage. I did a little filtering on it, a little infrared, a little, uh, I think, night vision on it. But um, my intros and my end caps are real footage. Some of it I CGI. If I do, I usually tell you. But it's usually just real footage, filtered a little bit. All right. Subscribe, share it with a friend, uh, send a couple friends over to subscribe, thank you, because this is end time footage, last day's video, chronologically, recording UFOs, and all kinds of stuff in the skies, so you guys keep coming back, alright, God bless, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and if you haven't, if you've subscribed a long time ago, ring the bell, go check the bell, see if it's still marked, because sometimes they take you off the notification. All right. God bless. Talk to you in the next film. Bye.